Namaste. Welcome to tutorial series on Super Pro Designer for Beginners Step by Step Guide to Process Simulation. In this tutorial, uh, let us understand uh, some interesting feature available in Super Pro Designer that is profiles and dynamic data records. Generally, we see these profiles uh, whenever we use ferment kinetic option. You don't see this option in ferment stoichiometry. So I will show you once this is particular options where it is available. I will select a fermenter, we will select a fermenter. Yes, when I add an operation, uh, for example, we will add this ferment kinetic and ferment stoichiometric operation. Click OK and let us go to this ferment uh, stoichiometric operation and we can notice here you do not see a profile option here, profile option. But if you go to this kinetics uh, like fermentation by kinetics, then you can notice there is something called as profile. So what is this basically profile is it will help us to understand uh, the rate of uh, the, the concentration data versus time. So that is nothing but differential dA, if it is biomass you can write dx by dt or if it is product dp by dt or if it is like substrate ds by dt. So you get with respect to time you are going to get at, at the how this particular uh, constituents or chemicals are like biomass generated or chemicals consumed in the process. So access the dynamic data, data records you can just right click on this one any like equipment if you, if you see here there is something called dynamic data records you go to fermenter you can understand so what is the like uh, the with respect to time how the uh, components in the system are changing. So let us explore it uh, in the later stages first let us simulate this one. So I uh, will register the pure components required for the simulation of this particular uh, uh, problem and this problem uh, also available this particular file is also available in the process library of super pro designer I will uh, just show you that so you can go to this view and process library in this process library uh, there is a miscellaneous folder under the miscellaneous folder you can open this that is batch kinetic fermentation I am under miscellaneous folder this is available and also you can uh, notice that how like uh, it is this simple example focus on batch kinetic fermentation operation it shows how to uh, uh, produce time evolving profiles of fermentation output and display them on your process flow sheet such as that when process condition charge the profile dynamic update themselves. So let us make this particular uh, process of uh, like uh, prepare this particular process and I will explain. So I will just remove this. Yes. Uh, what are the pure components required? If you read the problem statement, the pure component requires are media. Uh, media is not available and it is not defined what is the composition of media. That is the reason just I will register media as a pure component. So if media is given as a like uh, components are given for a media, then we need to register it as a stock mixture. In this case, I will just register as a pure component as a with the name media and I will initiate all the properties uh, with the default properties of water. Next oxygen is available and we need biomass, again biomass is already available in the database, we will choose the biomass, biomass and uh, next one we, we need carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide and uh, next one there is impurities are required uh, but impurity is not available in the database, we do not know what is that impurity, so we will just uh, register as a new compound with the properties of water and MAP monoclonal antibody is required. So again we will register as a new component MAP. So any of water is registered as a default component, yes most of the components are uh, registered and let us go and simulate this particular process. So now if you go to this unit procedure, we will select a fermenter and place it here and once you select the fermenter we need to add the inputs. So we need to add the uh, water and we need to charge the media and we need to continuously supply the air and we need to uh, so continuously remove the fermenter of gas and this is the output. Let us just rename them. Uh, this is water, water, click OK and next one this is media, media and uh, this one is air in, air in and this one you can write it as fermenter of gas, fermenter of gas and this is the product, product click ok. 
so as this is a uh, batch process we need to add the operation so first we need an operation to charge the water then again we need one more operations to charge the media then once you charge the media then we have to react using kinetic because idea is to understand the profiles and dynamics i already told so this kind of profile option is not available in stoichiometric when you choose stoichiometry so now in the kinetic uh, is required and also uh, he says that uh, air is continuously supplied the fermentation cycle at 37 uh, heating rate 0.5 and also the kinetic information is given and further we need to cool it so the cool operation is required and once the cool it completely we need to transfer it out so these are the operations required in this particular uh, simulation click ok let us initiate one by one go to charge and now we need to charge the water so charge the water and he says that uh, 7000 like we, need, we have not initiated this stream let us go and add water uh, click ok we need to initiate uh, 7800 kg of water 7800 kg of water and uh, it says that setup time is of uh, uh, 5 minutes setup time is 5 minutes and also volumetric flow rate is given that is 100 uh, liter per hour 100 liter per hour so we have set all these things next let us go to the next operation that is we need to charge the uh, media we need to charge the media and we have not initiated this stream let us go and add media click ok and what is the mass of media it is like a charge uh, 380 kg of media is charged 380 kg of media is charged and uh, the next one uh, it is setup time is again uh, the setup time is 20 minutes with a flow rate of uh, 10 kg per hour 10 kg per hour so this is what we added we go to the next operation so fermentation is takes place at 37 degree centigrade and also you can notice the all the uh, things are given here so uh, fermentation is carried out for 24 hours fermentation is carried out for 24 hours and uh, uh, further uh, aer aeration rate uh, will go with a default aeration rate of 0.5 bbm and uh, next very important thing is we go with volumes we go with default value it's not fed batch we go to this particular reaction this is very important in this section so we have to set the reaction so the reaction stoichiometric equation is given here it is a, a mass basis so that is media uh, plus oxygen oxygen plus biomass biomass uh, plus the sorry uh, media plus oxygen gives biomass plus carbon dioxide plus impurity plus map plus water so now this coefficients will change 100 media 70 oxygen and biomass is 28 28 biomass 70 carbon dioxide 10 impurity 2 map and 60 water so you can notice both the side it is balanced now let us add the kinetic information so it generally in stoichiometric uh, what we are supposed to do we were adding the percentage conversion and also we were adding some reaction heat but now in this case as this is the kinetic reactor let us go and add this kinetic information so now uh, the reference component is biomass reference component is biomass so enhanced uh, the increased biomass concentration obviously the map also will increase so now the specific growth rate is given 0.2 per hour and ks is given as uh, 35 and also substrate is media the substrate is media and we go with this monad uh, constant again b term the bio is like biomass biomass is the b term so uh, uh, and uh, there's a b term uh, for this model and uh, let us uh, go with all the default values we set all the parameters click ok so if everything is fine it will take us to the next one or if there are any errors it will stop there so now the cooling it has to be done for 5 degree centigrade and uh, uh, we need to cool using glycol as a media glycol as a media and also uh, the in the previous section the reaction heat was given we forgot to add it so we'll go back and uh, uh, rate of cooling is also given that is 0.5 degree per centigrade let us go back to the previous one and understand uh, here uh, in the reaction reaction heat was given here it is minus minus 3697 and the rate reference component is oxygen and temperature is 37 degree centigrade so we go to the next operation in this we have initiated all the components uh, there is no information on setup time and uh, cooling time will go with the default uh, based it will calculate based upon the cooling rate so we are cooling at 0.5 uh, degree per centigrade based on that the time process time will be calculated and uh, 
the next uh, operation is transfer out operation so we need to transfer out 100 percent and uh, he says that here the cooling rate uh, transfer out time the process time is 272 minutes 272 minutes so we have initially uh, initiated all the streams and operations click ok let us try to simulate it yes it is telling input air stream has not been initialized yes we didn't initiate this particular stream let us go and uh, by default air is available as stock mixture we know it to register again click ok and also uh, let us simulate this one and uh, yes it is telling biomass component is not present in the feed stream so this is very important uh, whenever we uh, develop uh, uh, the model with stoichiometric equation that time it, it will not show this particular error but in this case it is showing biomass is not available why because in the kinetic um, uh, like whenever you choose kinetic this differential equations like dx by dt ds by dt dp by dt so uh, there should be some biomass component otherwise this uh, differential equations will not be simulated so what we have done for example in this particular media so we have charged uh, i'll just go back here because there is no option there uh, charge to uh, because we have, sele we have selected set by user that is the reason we could not able to edit we go back here and uh, we edit this one delete this one and we add medium and we add biomass here and we add the mass composition so our like mass the flow rate uh, i'll go back and uh, change this one here so user amount on the stream uh, instead of i will add also biomass biomass and in this case, we'll add some 5 kg of set ingredients low, 5 kg of biomass and 375 kg of uh, medium. So, in this in the indicates that uh, if your vessel uh, is having with zero biomass, obviously they are interlinked. If you go back to your bioprocess and understand uh, that ds by dt, dx by dt, dp by dt, they are interlinked differential equations. So, if x is equal to 0, obviously uh, you, you are going to get an error. So, uh, now let us go back and simulate it one simulate this particular process yes this uh, it is telling it is only warning they are not errors the process is simulated these are all warnings what is the warning it is telling the reactant media concentration was equal to 0 at 16.7 hour the rate of reaction was set to 0 so uh, whatever the media we fed based upon the mu value the rate of consumption are like ks values so this media is getting consumed within 16 hours so that is the reason you can understand it is zero at that particular hour so let us uh, like uh, this is fine let us see uh, what is the product outcome you can notice almost 7.5 kg of mab is produced and now our uh, like uh, the idea of this particular uh, this uh, uh, tutorial is to understand the dynamic data records one more thing we didn't uh, like uh, set up is like profiles we go back to this uh, ferment operation and if you go to this profile section you now it is asking you what are all profiles required so i want biomass i want uh, the rate at which the mab is produced and also i want to know how this particular carbon source or media is getting consumed these three data uh, i'm uh, required click ok click ok now uh, when you go to this particular uh, dynamic data records here dynamic data records ferment option view as table so let us simulate this one and uh, it will display you as a table here yes you can notice uh, with respect to time so how much this biomass is produced initially it is having 0.6 gram per liter now the map is zero uh, that is dp by dt initially it is zero and the biomass there is some quantity of biomass we added and the media is around 45 gram per liter and you can notice almost at the 15th hour it is zero the media uh, completely it got consumed and this is the data if you want to know how this particular uh, like uh, uh, data the graphical representation uh, we go back to the place where this particular uh, uh, file is created and we create one excel sheet go and create one excel sheet as uh, the same name let us give the same name and uh, yes and we go back to the software and let us see here go to the dynamic data records ferment and excel link excel link excel link edit the flow sheet must be given a name before uh, it is uh, linked to excel okay yes you must save the file before you execute it that is the reason it was showing an error so i saved the file and now let us go to this particular dynamic data record edit excel link now 
uh, we will link our excel sheet which we created the where is this excel sheet available uh, it is available under the same folder which i used uh, uh, which i saved this particular super pro it is reflecting here select it so now uh, rest all we select it uh, default uh, check this one click ok and now uh, i'll just show you the file which we prepared i'll just open this particular excel file yes you can notice so when i simulated automatically this particular uh, data is updated i'll just delete again and uh, i'll go back and try to simulate again yes earnings it is ended you can notice it so it is automatically the excel get updated so if you change any data uh, like for example it is now 24 hours uh, for example i go back to uh, this particular uh, so reaction and set it as 12 hours click ok and further again uh, now you can see it is for 24 hours data now if i go back and uh, simulate it you can notice automatically the data changed 0 to 12 hours so this is what uh, you can easily update your data use, using this particular option let us go back and change it to 24 hours uh, 24 hours click ok and uh, simulate so let us check this one so remove the it is updated warnings i'll remove now i'll go back and uh, prepare the graph so i'll select this one insert insert and uh, make a graph out of it so i'll choose this option and uh, now we'll edit this particular graph so we'll edit this particular graph just take it above and if you want to edit this data select data and i will rename the first series is nothing but here in this first series i'll just say edit the series name it is biomass second series is map map and uh, third series is media media and also you can add the axis titles uh, axis titles if you want you can increase the font increase the font if i want to add the axis titles go back to chart design axis titles primary horizontal this is time time in hour and we add one more chart element that is oh, vertical axis axis vertical and concentration concentration that is gram per liter gram per liter so we will just change the font of this So this is the data we prepared. So if you want chart title, you can retain it. Otherwise, you can just ignore it. So this is the graph uh, we have developed now. Uh, let us see how to, uh, whatever the graph we develop, let us see how to add it in this particular flow sheet. So now let us copy this one. Click on this Excel, uh, this particular graph and uh, copy this one. And we go back to process flow sheet here, edit. And there is an option called as paste special, paste special. Now to paste the link, so excel chart so click ok click ok so now you can notice this particular graph is displayed here the graph is displayed here and uh, let us change some uh, uh, values and check whether this will automatically get updated so now i'll right click go back to this particular uh, reaction i'll change it to 12 hours i'll change it to 12 hours click ok uh, the, now it is in 25 hours it is like it is simulated for 24 hours so you can see the a graph axis till 24 hours now let us simulate this one and check whether this axis will get updated yes now it got updated if you can notice this particular yes it is still similar yes you can notice here it is almost it is around now it is 12 hours the same thing data also get updated in your excel sheet also this is what you can easily understand uh, like easily use this uh, profiles and dynamic data records to visualize the rate at which the reactants are uh, consuming products are forming as well as biomass uh, quantity is also increasing so i hope you understood how to utilize the profiles and data the dynamic data records option available uh, whenever we choose the batch kinetic fermentation thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe